which I reached out to him because I wanted to work with the guy. And then I was lucky enough to work with him on his next feature, The Lighthouse, and it was a very good experience. I really enjoyed working with him because of his detail, uh, because he uh, makes a personal cinema. He does the cinema that uses cinema language. Um, very little coverage, very designed shots, working with uh, Jaron Blaschke as DP. They work very closely. It's a combination of um, being very well designed and very well realized, but also he's an actor. <laughs> he was an actor. He speaks an actor's language. So I love working with him because he works with a great kind of back and forth in the scenes and gives me lots of details and lots of challenges. And I feel always very engaged with when I'm with him. But I think most importantly, he's a, a guy of the cinema, but he's also a student of history and he loves history so deeply. You feel it, that it's infectious and uh, you get drawn into those worlds with him. And as an actor, you just want to help him realize them as, as you can in your role. I like returning to work with uh, directors that I, whose work I like to be a part of and that I like working with. And he's way up there. So he, he just contacted me and said, uh, look, this film is about Vikings, you know, big, tall Norse guys, you know, with shoulders like this and, and you know, uh, 40 years old max, you know. But I have something for you to do in this. So that was kind of good. He wrote this, I understand. Directors say this sometimes, <laughs> but he, he, I think he did invent this character for me. And it's a beautiful character because even though it's less expansive and I'm uh, very much part of the ensemble in this movie, it's a very interesting role because it's very multidimensional. And what I do have to, what I do have to do in the story is very uh, uh, pivotal and also very essential. I mean, there's no fat in this role. So it's very nice for that reason. He is uh, the fool to the king. He's uh, like a jester, but he also, and this isn't apparent immediately, he's a uh, uh, sort of a shaman. He's a, a, a priest. Uh, of sorts, and uh, he conducts a very important uh, ritual in the story. So I would say he's, he's an ally and he's, uh, he's a friend of the king, uh, Arvandir, played by Ethan Hawke. Robert kind of told me what he needed and uh, I think he tapped into certain things he'd seen as far as my uh, energy and uh, my sense of humor and uh, my love to do physical things. And I think he really set me up to do those things. So preparation, preparation, I get sucked into his research. You know, he says, listen, what do you want me to send you? And I'm like, bring it on, bring it on and I'll, I'll cherry pick, I'll see what's useful to me. And in fact, I got very sucked into it because this was a, a time in history and a, and a culture that I didn't know a lot about. So while really, I, maybe it wasn't necessary to go in great depth, it was a pleasure because I learned something and I, I, I started to understand his attachment to it and his love for it. And you get sucked in. And then when you arrive and you see these sets that are made with such detail and such care, it, it helps with the pretending. If acting on some level is really pretending, everything's there. You enter that world and you fold into that world.